Coming up on JPL Express, the rise and rise of Victorian Adebayo. We go to Niger, where it all started for this exceptional talent. Also, Linda Anson gets in the driving seat at Liberty Professionals. And a mascot like no other, Dreams FC's mascot, Believer, shares in the dream. Hello and welcome to JPL Express here on TV3. This is domestic football's most loved show. And it is the week where we crisscross the Premier League action sports around the country to bring you an exciting all-round package. Right now, we are in Cape Coast where it is the big midweek derby between Elmino Sharks and Ibusian Dwarfs. My name is Juliet Bewa and you're welcome to GPL Express. We are the Chapel Square in Cape Coast, but we start off in the West African country of Niger, where in this exclusive report, the exploit of Victorian Adebayo in the Ghana Premier League hasn't come as a surprise to people, including his mother and the country's FA president. We also hear from the man who discovered what has now become a talked about talent. The Victorian Adebayo story transcends the Ghana Premier League. It stretches all the way to the tiny West African country of Niger in a career trajectory that has seen him rise to critical acclaim only to falter along the way. It is a beautiful tale of a talent with so much to his name yet still in the process of refining himself for the bigger leagues. But more than anything else, his talent has taken care of the excesses. The man who discovered all of his talent is Sumaila Tiamogo, Adebayo's former coach at Edger Academy, who despite having regrets the player could have been amongst the continent's best, still believes he has a shot to succeed. Uh, so essentially, uh, uh, Adebayo, Victoria Adebayo Aji, uh, he had the Mukasam teaching school in the football at Academy. A chakra in the same test than Nang Adosiaro. Yazo, I test the Urumu, Tunyana the Shekara Gomashada, to a Shekara Gomashadiata, Moka Dosheshi, Mu Yana School Yana Balu, Yana School Yana Balu, San Nang Adaba, they Yarone the school Nam Tung and Taka by Saka Hiba, Balong, Hankashi Duka, Arkan Balu. Zanke kuma adabar san da yake da shekara goka bakwai na dauke shi ni a national team national team na dauke shi muka je turnuwan Artel Jean Tala Nigeria Lagos Nigeria san adabar ne mai warduka shine farko mai warduka shi yasa bi wanda yayi duka bi kenan zanke adabar yaro ne da balon yasa a rashi amma yaran taka na da kwashi kwarai zan ce yanzu ina da labarin shi yana gana zan ce ko Allah zai maida hankalin shi ya san abin da yake so kuma ya ci gaba da aikin like the story goes for most footballers adebayo managed to get the seal of approval of his parents only after a while of convincing it was not until his talent became obvious before he was given all clear today his mother, Rakia, who stays in constant touch with him, says his exploits in Ghana brings them joy. I am a Nigerian household. Gaya ada skin class, si ni tu yang skin ada tu naik je balas saya aje. Tak, ini yang kena dia angkut ini kan dia ini tu abad. Tua dah ni si dia nak si, si ni. Mama mubar si, tu wala elok ke kita mung 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 gandai balon daya kasu, balon daya kasu yang gambar si. 
President of the Nigerian Football Federation, Jabrela Hima Hamidu says his outfit has been keeping an eye on Adebayo. While extolling his unique qualities, he asks that he exhibits maturity as the level he has got into calls for that. Forever a journeyman in full flight, Victoria Nadebayo continues to brighten his corner even several miles away from home, one goal at a time. Here is Adebayo, now sit down into the box. He turns around a baby. Here is Adebayo! Oh, Goodness no! Me. Magical from Adebayo! Oh, my word. You're still watching GPL Express here on TV3. Now, Kim Faisal's campaign so far has been one-dimensional, often ending in results that are obvious. The situation has remained a worry to everybody around the team, including bankroller Alahaji Grusa, the technical team and the playing body. Life in top flight local football has been a struggle for Kumasi-based Ken Faisal. It's been held after the other, with little to no sunshine in sight. I'm happy with the current position, but I'm happy that the position God put us today. If God accepted me to come up, inshallah we are coming up. Now God give you a chance to come here. Uh, God should take it out from you. If God don't want you to come here, <coughs> something will happen on the road, you won't come here. The position we are, it's a strange for Kim Faisal, but inshallah we are going to escape. I need partnership. But some of my children, they come, they deceive me. They bring the place, they take the place. They forget what I done to them. And this is the world. We need help. Even the government of Ghana need help. What about the Alaji Karim Guza? Ken Faisal's performance is a worry to the team's players who have come under considerable pressure to redeem their image. In their fold are two experienced players, Daniel Nierje and Michael Akufu, both former players of rivals Kumasi Asante Kotoko. They agree times are not normal and call for a desperate turnaround. Most of them, this is their first time playing in the Premier Division, so I think that one too is a factor because most of them lack the confidence and then the stability at the back. That's what is bothering us, but I think uh, it's not yet all lost. We are still working and I know uh, day in day out they are, they are improving, we are all working together, we are all helping and I know things will get better. It's a little bit difficult for us, uh, me especially because I have not been playing, my ITC is not yet in, so it's difficult for us. Uh, you know, I feel bad about it because you see your guys playing and you are out there supporting them and I don't know they, they will lose, you know, it's difficult, but we are praying to the most I got to change for us. Coach of the side who took over the reins of the club recently Pins it down to an inexperienced young setup. For Kim Faisal, uh, situation is not good now uh, because uh, because no good result. Uh, but uh, very 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 young player, very young player is now is here, not experienced play, uh, a big problem for, for for result. Striker Ibrahim Osman says, despite what seems a glaring missed opportunity, they are willing to make amends. Because the win is not coming. The morale in camp is too slow and slow. 
no winning bonus due to your no winning matches. Yeah, so the morale in camp is too slow. We are worried because we score a lot of goals. Every single match we score goals, but yet we keep conceding. I have scored six goals. We have scored 13 goals, but still we are the last. We are so much worried because you concede a lot. We have conceded 22 goals. We have scored 13 goals. Huh. It's not easy. We are trying our best. Messi, Messi. Dreams FC, the establishment since it was founded, has sought to do things differently, building on a strong obsession for that which is standard practice. One being the introduction of an official mascot. The man behind the mask tells us what all this means. Football mascots represent brands that resonate their identity. They play significant roles either during all-season competitions or at occasional major tournaments. Since the 1966 World Cup in England, each FIFA World Cup has had its own mascot, often communicating a message or theme. In the last few decades, mascots have grown to become an important part of the football story for reasons including merchandise. When Ghana hosted the 2008 Africa Cup of Nations, its official mascot, Agrohine, became a major symbol, dictating in part the colorful nature of the tournament that was remarkable in many ways. In Ghana, the culture of clubs having official mascots isn't popular, but the story is beginning to change thanks to Dreams FC. Known as Believer, the club's official mascot has remained a prominent feature since 2017 when it debuted. Among other things, Believer, a regular at March Days, symbolizes the values and ideals the club whose motto says, still believe. We wanted to do something new, uh, marketing-wise, we wanted to set the tone. We wanted to you know, do things that ordinarily is not known in our part of the world. And I think it's, it's worked very well for us in the last um, two seasons and a half. On typical March Days, Believer takes part in the active merchandising and fan engagement process, sharing and dishing out gifts and souvenirs to football fans in a manner that takes enough in-ground visibility for Dreams FC. My job is to entertain the supporters and be sharing biscuits to the kids and dance to entertain them so that they will feel that they serve only football. They came to watch football entertaining too. They will take pictures with me, with their mother, father, Oh, it's, 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 it's too great, it's too great for me. Initiatives such as this adds to the overall growth of the league on many fronts. For Believer, the obsession with Dreams FC is a call to duty he simply cannot ignore. I'll do it till I die. Because Dreams FC is concerned, I'll do it till I die. It is a strong union built on the need to still believe. God said you have to believe so that you receive it if you pray. So the name Believer do expand me. Interesting there, but you're still watching GPL Express here on TV3. Still to come after the break. Today I'm telling you, we had the show stopped. <laughs> we've stopped the likes of Bakum Chelsea and now we've stopped Indiana. You're welcome back to GPL Express here on TV3. After taking over the running of the club, Liberty Professional CEO Linda Anson is staying committed to an agenda that ties its umbilical cord to a long-standing legacy. We have been speaking with her to unpack all of this. Female CEO of a Premier League club here in Ghana. How has the journey been so far? It's been amazing. I would say my male colleagues have been so supportive and so helpful. Um, every one of them has been very, very helpful. And I've had the opportunity to learn from my father, who is a veteran in sports, as I always say. Um, he's a very good person. He teaches me a lot. Whenever I have issues, I always go back to him for help. And so it's been an amazing journey so far. How amazing has it been? Maybe we, people are just seeing um, the smiles every day, but talk to us about the challenges of oh, running a club like this. It's been challenging. I think everyone who runs a Premier League club in Ghana knows how challenging it is in terms of finances, in terms of even the players. You know, there's so many 
um, the structures and so many challenges that we face every day. But as I said, um, God has been good and my colleagues have also been very supportive. Are you in this um, for the long haul? Definitely. This is amazing. I mean, the adrenaline rush, the excitement. It's, it's, I love this. This is what makes me thrive. So anyone who knows me knows that I like a challenge. Um, and so this is something that I'm really excited about. And I'm going to be here for a very long time. What different um, things do you want to do to achieve or do you want to achieve with um, Liberty as a CEO? Um, I'm all for women empowerment. Anyone who knows me knows that I'm all for empowering women, supporting women and so um, I've, I've always wanted to be a role model when it comes okay. to empowering women so you know football has been known as a male dominated industry so being a CEO of a male Premier League club I believe is a, a mark that I have set for all women or for all young girls to know that anyone can do it it's not just for men it's for women as well the bedrock of every um, club has to be financed and you've made mention of that is Liberty okay or you have been struggling to keep up? I think every club has been struggling. <laughs> uh, running a Premier League club is very cash intensive. The expenses are over the roof but um, we've been able to pull in some of the companies, the local the organizations in Dansuman and we're still in talks with a whole lot of other companies to come on board to make sure that um, Liberty does not struggle as she said and we can actually move higher in the Premier League table. Liberty used to be one of those clubs that gave us great players in the past. Talk about Michael Lesian, Asamoah yeah. and many more. Are we likely to see that soon? Definitely. I mean if you watch this game I'm sure you saw one or two players who are building to get to that position and in our academy we have a whole lot more so as i rightly said um we are focusing on academies so that we have more micro okay. essence more slim Ontarios, and more samojans in the near future in this role if there's one thing that you've learned what would that be one or two things what would that be first of all that um football business is a real business yeah. and that um just focusing on entertainment side would be a because there's a whole lot of money that is in this industry that needs to be made. So if you focus on the business side of things, you can actually make a lot of money. And also, <laughs> you know that football is a very emotional game. You know, when you're losing, you want to blame someone. When you're winning, you're excited. So one thing I've also learned is to manage my expectations and manage my emotions. Um, I'm a very emotional and passionate person. So I put in everything, but I have also learned to manage it a little bit. I'm working with men. And so sometimes they also feel offended by my... So I've learned to manage those emotions as well. And you, you, you feel um, Liberty professionals can get into the top four at the end of the season? I think this scoreline should be enough evidence for you. I mean, Liberty, we are known as the showstoppers. If you don't know today, I'm telling you, we are the showstoppers. <laughs> we've stopped the likes of Bakum Chelsea, and now we've stopped Indiana. So definitely, I mean, I have so much faith in my coach, David Oklu, and the technical team. They've done amazing. They're working very hard every day, and you should expect such um, results and such performance from them. So the fans, please, Dansuman should be your, your, your venue. Please come and support us and help us take Liberty Professionals to the next level. Linda, thank you very much for your time here on GPL Express. Thank you. For Wishing you all the best. Thank you. This season's Ghana Premier League continues to attract the needed attention and love thanks in part to the unique photography storytelling we see on March days. From Kumasi to Accra, we have been following the exploits of these professionals in whose hands and eyes we have come to adore the Ghana Premier League. The scenes of the Ghana Premier League is glamour through the lens of a photojournalist. The joy, disappointment, prayers does not escape the photographer along the touchline or the goal line. They make things look simple and swift. Ghanaians will have incredible memories after the season through these popular pictures that have brought life into the Ghana Premier League. Victorian Adebayo's goal celebration for Inter Allies is buried in the memory of football fanatics 
after it was captured by Mary Shem, a female photographer whose day job is to capture special moments. I had an extra curriculum when I was in school and photography was bad, so I just got interested in the photography. Since I've been a kid, I've followed the game so much, like I follow football a lot, so I decided to go into that. Feeding football fanatics for 18 years with pictures, Dada Onishe is a popular name among the fans, footballers and the coaches. Initially it was difficult, it was, it was very 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 difficult because I I hadn't, I hadn't planned for, for, for something like this, but uh, by, by and large, people are getting uh, to know me. They are inviting me for programs. I get some small, small things. But initially, it was difficult. Even sometimes, money to travel to Madjani was, was, was a, 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 a problem. From the appreciation of the fans of Matthew Kojo to shots unforgettable goal celebration, Frank Dankwa is a name that rings a bell among the football fraternity. Almost all his photos of the GPL this season has found a way to the front page of newspapers and trended very well on social media. I capture images that um, leave I mean, the world to deduce meaning into it. I captured this before the game. When the team, okay, before the before game. the game. But then, when the team lost, I brought it out, mm -hmm. and then everyone actually read meanings into it. That is because as a folk loss, so the the, the 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 supporter is moody. So this is Mr. Abbey. Mr. Abbey was um, so. This is Mr. Abbey. This was when I captured him at the um, Accra Sports Stadium. Yes. So that was him. So that, that, this, this image personally remains my favorite image ever since I started taking photos. And this tells you how our supporters are passionate about the game. They are passionate in the sense that when, they are fun, uh, when, they, when their team lose um, a, a game, they are, they are unable to stand it. have beaten Ebusia Duas in the all-important local derby. It was Bernard Watson who took his personal goal tally to seven goals by putting the home side ahead here and that proved to be the winner here. It also means that Elmina Sharks, uh, they've won four times this season.